CGC mail call day. So I was a little worried because this box was sent to me by CGC through FedEx and usually they don't leave it. Um, and they no longer let uh, CGC, um, no longer let you hold it at the FedEx location. So I held my breath because I didn't change my address for them and send it to someone else's work. Um, so uh, it was waiting for me. It was waiting for me outside, uh, but there's a vestibule, so uh, it was hidden. And by chance I checked and they, they, didn't, uh, they didn't take it back to the distributor's place. They left it. So these are, uh, there's six, I think, um, comic books. Uh, say hi to the luchadors. Uh, there's six uh, books that I had uh, slabbed and signed, uh, signed and slabbed at Baltimore Comic Con. And uh, they came back pretty fast. Baltimore Comic Con was uh, at the end of September, and it is now November 2nd. So it took about a month, uh, which is not too bad. Um, I don't know the grades of these, so this will be a surprise. I wanted to... I like to remain su surprised if I can, just so that we can see if I'm really excited on this videos or not. Um, there are three sketches, if I remember correctly, three sketch covers, and uh, other stuff is signed as well. Um, these, this does not include my Storanko signings, because uh, the books that I had Storanko signed were older, and that meant that they had to go in a different tier. So all this goodness. And I'm gonna flip it so I don't spoil it for myself. All right, first one, I know I can tell the title. I don't know what the grade is. Let me get this giant rubber band off these slabs. It's a beautiful thing. All right, this will probably be a quick video. Uh, Marvel Zombies, Arthur Sweet Um, 9.6, okay. I think this is the one I had as, as a kid, uh, not as a kid, but when it first came out. 9.6, just, it did have like, sort of like an indentation uh, from being stored uh, along the spine, but this, the colors of it are really cool. Um, this is a series that I just really loved, a cool Amazing Fantasy 15. Um, homage and uh, yeah, 9.6. And it even says that homage cover up there, signed by Arthur Sweetam. This was an interesting thing because I, I went to his booth, and in order to get him to sign this, I had to covertly uh, buy something, and he did the signature for free. Uh, and that was fine, and this, it wasn't quite sure, clear if the CGC witness would be able to witness it because the guy that worked at the booth said, just do it quietly. Don't, don't tell anyone. Don't tell them that it's a witness. I was like, okay, I mean, whatever. But um, he signed this. He signed a poster that I bought that got me this for free. Um, so Marvel Zombies, number one, 9.6. I do love that cover. I love it slabbed. Put this back in the... I'll leave it out of the plastic for now. All right, what else do we got? I forget what I have. Oh, okay. So this is my Mike Zek signed. I wish I had him do it in silver. 9.6. That's awesome. Bought this off of eBay, this book. Um, and it was high grade. I spent eh, maybe 20 bucks shipped for it. I love the cover. Um, I was trying to get all of these signed, or at least the iconic ones signed by Mike Zek. Um, so this is the first of the Fearful Symmetry or Craven's Last Hunt storyline that I have signed. Um, I'm kind of infatuated with the storyline. For some reason, it was uh, something that as a kid I was really fascinated with, even though I never had it. I was just fascinated with the idea that a, a, a villain died, the villain killed himself. And you never heard of that happening, at least I didn't as a kid, as new to comics at the time, back in the early 90s. So just really cool, cool book. Um, and it's a Craven and Vermin appearance. It's not his death. Uh, that's the next issue. But really presents quite well. 9.6. Love it. Oh, here's the first sketch cover. So this is uh, Wolverine and the X-Men sketch cover. Let's see what I got. 
This is my Sean Chen book. 9.6? I thought for sure this would be a 9.8. It doesn't matter because this book is killer. Look at this. So, oh good, he did sign his name. I wasn't sure if, if he actually did. Um, so I gave him a couple of uh, options. I said you could do a uh, fastball special because I saw he did that once before with Colossus and Wolverine. You could do to just do Wolverine or um, Wolverine versus Cyclops or Wolverine versus Phoenix. And, I, and he said, which one would you want? I was like, well, uh, is there one that you would enjoy doing more? And he offered up Dark Phoenix, and I was like, yes, 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 yes. And this is awesome. I mean, I, I don't have a two-character sketch cover that I've commissioned. I have a Clayton Crane Cable versus Strife, which I love, but I bought that off of eBay. Um, but this one is just super cool. That art, the Phoenix uh, power of exuding off of her, really awesome cover. I sent this to him in advance and he did it for me. Um, and super psyched about that. So we're three for three, 9.6s, which is great. Great, why not? Uh, Secret Wars number one, blank cover. Thanos, Tom Rainey, 9.8, here we go. So I bought this book uh, at the convention uh, because I ran out of blanks. Uh, I ran out of good, copy blanks uh, a lot of them were um really failing me and I, they had like smudges and things on them and i didn't realize they were that damaged until a couple days before the con uh so i found a vendor that had a lot of blank covers and picked out some really great ones depending on the character that i wanted so i wanted tom rainey to do thanos he was supposed to do a full figure thanos and so when i picked this up he said i think i messed up and i was like uh oh i was like what does that mean uh, but he didn't really mess up. He just did the face. But it's a huge face. It takes up the whole book. Uh, it's really an awesome one. I, that's, it's really, really awesome. So uh, look at the, the stars in his eyes. Uh, the detail that he did here is, is pretty, pretty amazing. Um, and he really gets the, the creepy, um, I don't even know what you want to call it, Thanos lip going on there. So 9.8. I'm happy with that. Awesome cover. All right, Shadow Man number 43. I got this signed by Bob Hall. It's the final issue of Shadow Man and 9.8. Yeah. So I, I had a couple copies of this. I picked out the best one to get signed. Um, I was a big fan of this series, the original series. Sorry for the glare. Um, Shadow Man uh, bought number one. My uncle turned me on to it. And um, just a really cool dark character. Uh, voodoo in New Orleans. I love New Orleans. Um, maybe that's why I love New Orleans because of all this. Um, so really awesome book. And it's uh, my second Valiant book that's slab. But the first one, no, I've, I've had other ones slab for, before. But um, this is the final issue. And so some say it's hard to find. Um, but you don't see it everywhere. And it's a really cool Bob Hall cover. And he did most of the art. Uh, for the series. Um, so this is issue 43, final issue, and I think he started around issue 10. He actually started a little bit earlier. I see his name in the credits for issue 8, but I think he might have just inked it. Um, but uh, really cool guy. He, he did some of the West Coast Avengers back when it was a mini series, I think. So he did some of those iconic Hawkeye covers. Um, but uh, like, like some valiant love here. Um, and then the last book uh, speaking of Bob Hall is my invoice, uh, and something else. Oh yeah. Sketch cover, Adam Warlock, Infinity, number one. And I had Bob Hall do this, uh, commissioned. He did an affordable commission that was at $125. Uh, and he, he took about a day to do it. Um, I didn't give him any guides other than say, could you do Adam Warlock? And, and this is, I'm really happy with this. Uh, 9.8, blank cover. Looks really good pressed in there. Got those rings going on with CGC, but this one's really bad actually with the rings. Uh, but at least it's 9.8, it's preserved, it's validated. Um, and it's Bob Hawley's a classic, so 
I got two things from good old Bob. Uh, so, so yeah, I really love this, these sketch covers. Uh, that, that's always a fun thing for me to do at the conventions is to, to get these covers um, completed. The Sean Chen one, though, I swear, this is awesome. The only person I was hoping to originally do something with would be Clayton Crane to get another sketch from him. I love his paintings. Um, but since I have a full cover um, double character battle scene with Cable and Stripe, I, I opted for these other artists. And then Clayton Crane, I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll run into again. Uh, so maybe he's a 19, a 2019 goal. Uh, but uh, these guys were awesome. I had a Tom Rainey sketch in my sketchbook. He did Havoc for me. So I wanted to get something a little different um, and definitely get a blank cover preserved. So, um, so yeah, awesome, awesome stuff. So uh, hope you all enjoyed my unboxing, uh, enjoyed the, the sketches and, and the signatures that I picked up. Um, let's see, this just a, these are the other two. Um, and I uh, love the colors in this one. Uh, both of them, actually. So, um, so yeah, I'm still waiting. I sent a batch off um, also at Baltimore Comic Con of, of the, like I said, the Starankos. Um, so those will come back probably in like a year and a half because they're, they're um, sent modern, or not modern, they're like value tier. I'm in mean, no huge rush. But I would like them back within the next five months, ideally. Uh, we'll see if that actually happens. And, um, and I just sent some books off to get graded, some spec books and some other things that um, I want to keep in my collection and just preserve. So I've been long overdue. Um, and I think I need, need to send in some Silver Age stuff of mine that I just want to get slabbed and, and put them in the box so they're, they're secure. Um, so, so yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's my haul. That's my unboxing. And uh, like, comment, subscribe. Remember, I have a contest video out. So, so look back a couple videos and see that the contest is going on. Uh, don't forget to, uh, to join in there. Um, and uh, that's it. So thanks, everyone. Take care.